Hello. So we have just taken a look at the logarithmic amplifier or log amp, and now we're going to take a look at the circuit that performs the reciprocal function or the anti-log, which is referred to as the anti-log amplifier. Uh, the anti-log amplifier, as I mentioned, calculates the anti-log or exponential function of an input signal. So if the signal is x at the input, the output signal should be proportional to e to the x. On the left-hand side here, I've uh, represented the mathematical function graphically of e to the x versus x. And then on the right-hand side, I have a basic diode-based anti-log op-amp, anti-log amplifier. Notice it is the same configuration as the log amplifier, except we have swapped the locations of the resistor and the diode. Uh, the analysis is going to be very similar. We know that because this is an ideal op-amp, the current flowing through this diode ID must be equal to the current flowing through this resistor IR, IKCL, ID equals IR. Um, we also know from Ohm's law that uh, V out, so Ohm's law, V out is going to be equal to negative of the voltage drop across resistor R, which is going to be equal to IR times R. And uh, from my Shockley equation, Shockley's equation, I can come up with an expression for the current flowing through that diode, which is going to be equal to my reverse saturation current times E to the VD voltage across the diode over VT thermal voltage minus one. Again, since uh, VD is going to be typically going to be uh, a relatively large number, a positive number in any case, and VT uh, is very small. We mentioned it is the thermal voltage, which is around uh, 45, 25 millivolts at room temperature then uh, the exponential term in that equation is going to be much greater than 1, so I can approximate my ID as being approximately equal to IS e to the VD divided by VT. Uh, from inspection of the circuit, we can see that the voltage across the diode is going to be equal to V in, since I have a virtual ground on the negative input terminal of my op-amp, so I can rewrite this as ID is equal to IS e to the V in over VT. Um, my ID is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, equal to IR, and IR is equal to negative V out over R. And so I have from up here, IR is equal to negative V out divided by R. So if I apply my KCL equation right here, I will have negative V out divided by R is equal to IS e to the V in over VT, and therefore V out is going to be equal to negative IS times R e to the V in divided by VT. So you can see the output voltage is proportional to uh, the anti-log or exponential function of V in. In more general terms, we have V out being equal to some constant K1, times e to the v in divided by k2, or e to the k2 times v in, however you want to express it. So this is <clears throat> our anti-log amplifier. Next we're going to take a look at how we can combine a log amp and an anti-log amp to create an analog multiplier, which is op-amp based.